All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be working on our new Triton trailer for the Kawasaki and the new Superjet that's coming in. So we just picked the Triton trailer up. It's a five by 10, just like our Luma, except the inside between the uh, wheel wells on the Luma is 54 inches by 10 foot, whereas the Triton is 64 inches in between by 10 foot. So we are actually gonna be keeping the Aluma trailer and you can see here we got the uh, uh, gas cans and the triangle box uh, moved around. So you can see we moved the uh, two gas cans to the side so they're easier to access for the two super jets. Since we're using this trailer uh, for the two strokes since uh, uh, riding two strokes together is way more fun um, And then this will be our four stroke trailer um, Before if you haven't seen our videos before uh, we had the uh, Kawasaki winch on the very front here and the triangle box was over to the left more and uh, This is removable so we could take this out and then put the Kawasaki on this trailer but it's uh, a lot simpler and cleaner and quicker to get to the lake uh, with the two trailers. So for the new setup, we're gonna have the two winches for uh, the Superjet on this side and the Kawasaki on that side. And then you can see uh, the, we wanted to use the same uh, winch and bow stop, uh, but they had been out of stock and we were unable to uh, pick this one up so we went ahead and uh, got our closest one that we could and then of course there's always issues with new stuff this is a uh, the one the winch that it came with and is a really crappy uh, doesn't click or anything um, whereas this one this one's got a real nice Real nice click to it, but it's a lot better winch than the one that it came with for our Triton. Uh, this is the Triton uh, bow stop slash winch setup. And then here's the uh, carpet we used for the bunks. And we went with uh, two by sixes and four by sixes for the center uh, front two and used the uh, a two by 12 for the back uh, in theory. So uh, if we have the jet skis on the trailer, uh, it having a slimmer uh, base in the back so water can get in there so we can run the skis on the trailer in theory. But you can see this is kind of our uh, scheming it up with our wood. Uh, this is treated wood and it being an aluminum trailer, you have to use uh, some type of uh, spacer or spacing uh, to keep the wood off the trailer because it being an aluminum trailer uh, and treated wood it will corrode the aluminum so that's an issue but uh, as long as you have a gap in between the two uh, you shouldn't have a problem uh, that's our setup same setup on that trailer but you can see here we have a uh, one of the bunks carpeted, or a half, this bunk half carpeted. So we did the one half, and then we gotta still do the other half. And we've been using uh, stainless staples. Uh, that's important, because the other ones will rust. And then we got the pretty kick butt uh, Milwaukee stapler. Uh, that thing's freaking awesome for, for putting the bunks on. And then these are the bunks that we use at the uh, lake. Uh, so we don't run the skis or pull the skis onto shore. We pull them onto the bunks so we don't scratch the bottom up. And then we've been using the uh, anchor setup uh, for tuning the super jets. Uh, we're still working on mine, just fine tuning it. But we got the other one set up, so I'll be uh, uh, talking about that shortly uh, in a upcoming video. But we got uh, this anchor setup. You have to have the chain, otherwise the anchor won't... Uh, 
actually sit on the bottom when the waves pull it up. If you just have a rope, uh, it'll actually lift the anchor and make it so it doesn't actually operate correctly. So you have to have the chain, but then we just have the little float up top and we run the rope through the uh, front, through the front tie down and, uh, and then clip it in so it's locked in. But those are our two options that we use for uh, uh, holding the skis while we uh, run and grab a drink or, or uh, get in the trailer to pull the skis back on. If not two of us are there to hold the skis. And then you can see the, uh, this, the Triton trailer specifically has these channels that you can lock in tie downs. And we were going to uh, actually use these channels to uh, uh, build the frame on so you could have like a quick access to remove the whole entire setup. But uh, we thought we ended up uh, deciding to, to do holes through the trailer uh, to keep it a cleaner setup. And we're already going to have to have holes in the front uh, for our winches. But yeah, you could, in, in theory, uh, have a complete setup that is removable uh, to keep to utilize the flatbed trailer for something else, which is kind of neat. Um, if you just basically build a frame and then screwed it to these channels here. But what we'll, we'll be doing is we'll be uh, uh, screwing holes through the wood and through the uh, through the trailer to uh, keep it a little bit cleaner set up. It looks a lot cleaner on the trailer, um, but it's still a neat idea to be able to do that. And then uh, I realized that the uh, aluminum trailers are, are not very common uh, for, for using as a uh, boat trailer or jet ski trailers, but, uh, but from the trailer places that we've talked to, they, uh, they say that the uh, Easy Loop hubs are uh, no different on the watercraft trailers than they are from these trailers. So as long as you have the easy loop hubs, from our understanding, uh, this should be fine. Now we picked up this trailer from uh, Midway Trailers in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, they're super cool guys up there. Uh, I give fair prices. We're really happy with it so far. And another thing you want to consider too is what's under the trailer. So the supporting beams is what we'll have to watch out for. Uh, going this way and then now for this bunk specifically uh, this is going to be our Kawasaki bunk because we wanted to be uh, more precise with our uh, on center measurement for the two four strokes since we are uh, uh, this is strictly a four stroke trailer and uh, they're going to be in their a specific spot so for the Kawasaki we did measure 11 inches on center. As you can see here, this is our work cart. We use it for both the Super Jets and the Kawasaki. So you can see we just did like a generic uh, 12 inches on center for this uh, little stand. And you can see that it is sitting on the outside of the bunk and not touching on the inside. So we wanted it to be a little bit more uh, precise for the trailer setup since it's permanent. That's where the Kawasaki will live and the new Superjet, the fourth gen Superjet. And then our third gen Superjets will stay on this trailer. But we uh, think that the uh, two trailer setup is gonna work really good for us since it's a uh, really quick hook up and go to the lake rather than having to switch the skis off and on and so the two stroke trailer and the four stroke trailer it's uh, going to be a sweet setup and it'll be a lot quicker to go just to the lake rather than having to switch uh, skis around and stuff but i appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for the new super jet and the finish the completion of the uh, jet ski trailer and we'll see you in the next one